Hello everyone, this is Bijus aka Bijan aka The Awesome. Now today we are back with another tutorial and this time we are in fact moving from loops to buttons and GUI building. So once again this is the intermediate programming level. So if you haven't seen the first episode, go back five episodes to episode one and then that's where you can see the first episode. Otherwise, Please it continue from here if you've seen the other episodes. So, last episode we covered, uh, we did a lesson for looping and ending loops and stuff like that. And it was a really basic lesson. Now, this episode is going to be entirely dedicated to GUI building and button. So, basically, what a GUI is, is it's uh, it stands for graphical user interface, which is basically things that you can use to build your thing. Your program uh, graphically. So instead of just having text and colors, you can actually have buttons, you can have uh, sprites, which are just pictures and stuff, and it's a really cool process. So, right now, uh, we're actually going to get out of this loop and uh, I'm not going to save this. Uh, we're not going to use the calculator, the calculator just yet. We're actually going to go under our uh, this program that I wrote here. Now, don't look at it real quick because um, I, I was going to record this before, but I needed to record something else first. So, uh, if you just saw that, basically any GUI, any advanced function, you need to import your function that you, or feature that you want to bring in. So, the only reason we import things is because if we had, if our program had everything built into it already, then it would not function as it would be too big of a file size and it wouldn't function that well. So um, if we had all the functions built in then it would probably be a really big file. So that's why we specifically tell the computer we want these certain functions to be imported in so that we keep our file size small and we keep it from getting too complicated. So I named this uh, file button test and basically the first thing I'm gonna do is imp I'm gonna type in import and I'm going to write GUI, which is graphical user interface. Now, I'm going to come down here and set the variable for the button. So I'm going to say button, variable, button, and then I'll set it equal. Oh, it'll be an integer type um, variable because it's not a string, it's not a couple of uh, let, it's not certain letters, it's, it's not a real number because it's not a decimal number, it's just a variable, it's just a character. So, uh, I'm going to set it to integer. Now I am going to uh, do the colon equal to GUI create button. Uh, open parentheses, this is our parameters. And I'm going to put it as uh, the x coordinates can be 100 or 200, y coordinates can be 200, and then uh, it's going to be a width of 0, and then we're going to have in the text say hello world button and then it's going to run a procedure which we're going to call hello world. Now I haven't showed anyone uh, procedures yet but I will show that in a sec um, or in the next tutorial probably. Now basically a, a quick run through of what a procedure does is basically it says that if I click the button, then it will run this procedure, and the procedure will be anything under that one section that I wrote down. So we're gonna not so we're gonna click the procedure right now and instead on the button layout itself. So so far the button all we got is we said that we imported the GUI and then we set the variable the button as a variable and we said that now um, with the GUI installed, we're gonna create a button that on the x-axis is 200 pixels, and on the y-axis 200 pixels, zero width, I don't know what that is for, but I'd rather not change it. Um, and then hello, we change the text to hello world button, and then this is the procedure to hello world. That we'll show later. Now, we're going to do something called a loop, which I showed in the last episode, a uh, lesson, and we're going to go from the tab, which we're going to go from the tab, which is the all multiple ways. And after we press the loop, you're gonna do exit when GUI dot process event. And now what this is gonna do is this is 
exit the loop only when uh oh, let's just end loop. I'm gonna say exit the loop only when the GUI processes an event. So when if you press the button, it processes an event, and that's when it will stop the loop. Now, um, when it does that, then it will run the hello world procedure, which I will show later. But now, if we run this, oh, crap. oh yeah. So I didn't uh, make a procedure for hello world yet, so I'll just make one anyways. Procedure hello world and uh, and hello. Uh, so I'm not going to show the little procedure right now, but now if I run it, uh oh, oh okay, let's see, let's see how that okay, so now it should be, there we go, now see I said the button, let me push it over here, um, that's the button right here, and basically what it does here is it, um, we set it for, we put it as 200 on the x-axis, 200 on the y-axis, zero width, and, um, right here we set the text to be hello world button, and then we made it run the hello world procedure when it processes an event. So now that I press it, it will pop, it will run here this procedure, but the only reason it's not doing anything is because there's nothing under the procedure. So, that is basically it for GUIs and buttons, um, and that is it for this tutorial. So the next one will probably be procedures. So see you then. Bye bye.